Hello, and welcome back to XCOM. Now, there isn't really any base management to do at the moment. Um, we did most of that at the beginning of the last episode, and we had a quick, a quick recruitment as well, because we got a freshly promoted rookie. So, let's just get on with this, see what happens. I'm looking forward to that satellite uplink. go so now I can get to North America satellite uplink complete right um, let's assign a new construction and just take a look at this a little bit now I thinking I should do some excavating ready for when I need it. Um, obviously there's going to be a temptation to put another thermo generator there. And another lab there perhaps, because I am lagging a bit on the scientists. But the most important thing, we have room for two more satellites, so we should try and build two more satellites. That's, it's going to cost 120 though. So I don't think I can afford it right now, even if I sell stuff. Um, no. I mean, it would take like 40 Illyrium in order to afford that. So we're going to hold off on that right now. Let's actually... Mm, let's try and get the money together to build at least one as a compromise sort of thing. Uh, so, so that's 60. That's only 33 away. That might not be too difficult to do. There we go, 33. So let's go engineering. Build by items. One satellite. So now I can launch the one I've got. So United States is actually plus 180 per month. Canada would be 100. Mexico. See, although I am... Yeah, I can't launch to Nigeria. Although I am loath to lose any of these countries, Russia is actually 150 per month as well. Hmm... Germany, China, Australia. No, I'm, we're going to go with the United States because that's the largest Understand, boosting so money. And then hopefully I can get some up elsewhere. In the line. You're not coming in clearly. So let's launch that satellite. Um, time Travel time four days. Monthly funding increase plus 80. If launched, we'll have satellite coverage over one, th one out of three countries in North America and plus one scientist per month. So let's do that. Satellite launched. Yep, and I was just about to go and transfer an interceptor. So, um, hangar, ship list, uh, one, two, three, let's, let's transfer Raven free. From here, you can arrange to have our interceptors transferred to bases throughout the world. By stationing our fleet on various continents, we'll have a much better chance of intercepting new UFO contacts in those areas. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to transfer one to North America. Raven free to North America, confirm. Now, that does mean that if I want to keep my two Ravens per location, I need to purchase two new... Ravens. I think they come from here, don't they? No, no. Where would I buy more ships? Oh, I think you do just click on empty slot. Haha. <laughs> so how much would that be? That's 40 with a monthly cost of 20, so I need 80. I might have to wait for a successful mission before I do that. 
Okay, now I noticed that I had some muton corpses there, so that might... There was um, a foundry missions that I couldn't do because I didn't have the right corpses. Okay, I need six muton corpses. So, I currently only have five, so I don't want to sell any of them. Um, I could sell floater corpses and sectoid corpses. I'm just trying to work out what they can be used for. Uh, floater corpses are the dodge matrix and sectoid corpses are that one. Hmm. I'm gonna sell them on the basis that corpses are the things that come in the most. So that gets me 45. I'm trying to get enough for those extra interceptors I want. I really want two interceptors per location. I just, if I get one and it gets shot down, then my satellite is, is very, very vulnerable. They're 40 each. You should file that request directly with Dr. Valen. Well, I'm not sure I'll wait. Very open to the idea. No, I won't. Yep, I'm going to do it. <laughs> Before I change my mind. No, um... Satellites are so expensive and so important that I don't want to risk them. I'd rather put the money up now and just, you know, get it done. So... So we want to order an interceptor for Asia to replace the one that's already there. And order another one for North America. Now that means that at the moment Asia will just have ones armed with avalanche missiles. But we can see about buying another Phoenix cannon at some point. Uh, it's a cost of 21. Hmm, a laser cannon's better. I might start upgrading to the laser cannons. I assume they're better because they cost more. Limited range. Okay, they're both 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 limited range. So after the next successful mission, buy laser cannons. So Let's find out about the Illyrium. Having fully analysed the strange material recovered from the alien craft, it is clear this element is unlike anything found on Earth. The unusual atomic structure of this substance responds to direct bombardment from accelerated particles, resulting in an astonishing release of energy. Although the potential applications for this element are nearly unlimited, for now our efforts are primarily focused on power generation and propulsion schemes. However, as this material does not occur naturally in our own solar system, we must carefully manage our available supply. Dr. Valen's personal note. To think, this single element has the potential to change the entire economic structure of Earth's energy industry. If we were to discover the source of this material, our reliance on fossil fuels could disappear within a decade. Right, so manufacturing this element is beyond our capabilities. We will only be able to use whatever we recover. Yeah, I know, and I know I sold some recently. But hopefully I'll capture more. Improved arc thrower project available in the foundry. Uh, by increasing the power of our arc throwers, it should increase the successful stun rate in combat. Okay. Oh, Titan armor. Um, we observe some of the alien combatants wearing a form of super heavy armor that still allows for full mobility in combat. This has been puzzling to say the least. With our new understanding of alien energy sources and the materials, we could develop powered armor of our own. That's very tempting. Plasma pistols, new fighter craft. I'm going to go with Titan armor. My instinct's always to get the best armor onto my guys possible. So we'll begin that project. Let's just take a quick look at the improved arc thrower. So this is going to cost 100. It requires drone wrecks. I've not even seen any drones. So obviously we're not going to be starting that right now. Okay, interesting. Um, interceptors are arriving soon, which are good. And 
my satellite will become operational one day after the intercept has arrived, so that's the right timing on that. Request from Argentina for sectoid corpses. Okay, 20 days, they want six sectoid corpses, and they'll give me four scientists. Um, six sectoid corpses worth 30. That might be worth it. I don't actually have any sectoid corpses right now, but I might do by then, so... We'll keep an eye on that. Contact detected. Here we go, UFO contact over Germany. So, scramble the interceptors. Raven 1 is ready with its Phoenix cannons, and if necessary I'll pull it back and launch Raven 2. So i just got to be ready on the abort button. We're in pursuit. Right, so I'm on the abort button. On shoot back, shoot back, shoot back! Abort. Okay. Oh, interceptor shot down the target UFO. Okay. That was just in time. <laughs> Leave report, send Sky Ranger. So we've got a downed UFO. And let's get our new squad of people ready. Okay, so I decided rather than bringing both captains into combat, it's best to provide more experience for some of the other troops. Um, so what I've done here is I replaced um, I, re I replaced Captain Mysterio with Squaddy Georgie, who's another heavy. Now, for the moment, I'm not going to bring a rookie just because uh, that's what we've got at the moment. So we've got the two snipers that I really want them to get the experience to get squad sight. These guys are all squaddies. I need some of them to reach sergeants because that's where they start start to get the really useful abilities. So we're going to launch, launch this mission. Um, Captain Jack Mando is in charge again and he's the one with the arc thrower. Snipers have got scopes and laser pistols and the skeleton suits. Um, our heavy has an extra frag grenade so that's two rounds of explosive stuff, plus we've got two sets of med kits. And this armor is awesome. I mean, you saw the last time some of our guys got a bit blasted and they came back completely unhurt. So let's launch this mission. Back to those forests in Germany yet again. We just keep raining UFOs down on them. We have visual on the mission site, setting down. So, UFO crash site in Germany. Uh, locate, destroy, like the and get the, the stuff as best as possible. If there are some he does repeat himself, doesn't he? So it's like a night mission, and it's a crash, so most of the forest is going to be burnt up. Right, I'm in the middle of the map. No, I'm not. I'm in the bottom... I'm in the bottom corner here. So, any actual sight of the UFO? No. Where's the best cover gonna be? Um, there's lots of trees about. Okay, let's just do this. Um, I'm gonna head off this way for no real reason. So that's heavy cover and half cover in that direction. Oh, it's go time. Okay, there we go. We've spotted the enemy already. Right, what have you got? Um 32%. Hmm. Guys moved to half cover. Alright. Georgie can't make it to that cover there. So Georgie's are heavy. Where might you have a reasonable line of sight? I'm just I'm trying to see where everyone's gonna be able to reach. So they can start taking those guys on. Okay, you're a sniper. Without squad sight, unfortunately, otherwise you'd be able to shoot right now. Your support 
And you're a sniper. I need to... Hmm, I know people like their custom colours, but I, I need to differentiate a bit more between the support and the snipers, I think. Okay. Heavy Georgie. Let's just move you to there and see what sort of shot you get. 37% really isn't that high. Is it worth, worth lobbing a frag grenade in? I could put you to overwatch and then use his flush ability. So I might do that. I might set up a firing line with people with pe people on Overwatch. Okay, you can get to this one here. And you got a 40% chance to hit him. Um, let's again. I'm going to Overwatch so the guy. So if if um, if the guy further back make, uh, makes a move, we've got him. Okay, I want one other guy on Overwatch ready to take that shot. So let's move Wilson to here. And put you to Overwatch. And now Jack Mando is going to going to flush this guy. Flush him out. <laughs> and everyone missed. Can you believe that? Everyone missed. However, he's now moved close enough that my snipers can get a shot. Although not a very good one. Would also mean leaving them not in cover. Um. Just out of interest. How far can a grapple move go? Quite a distance, but not actually behind cover. Okay, you go for a headshot. It's only 35% chance though. Now you, you guys need to move to cover somewhere. All right, you. Can you dash behind there? No. Let's move you to here. Overwatch with your pistol. No, no. Overwatch I wanted. I'm on it. And this guy will move to here. Watch on his pistol. Round to that. Scanning. Okay, um, that didn't go as well as I hoped, but we've got relatively heavy armor. Oh, he's lobbing a grenade in. Okay, that's quite a bit of damage on two of the guys, and it's removed their cover. They're moving around the side. Yep, yep, I see that. There's heavy fire in this zone. Okay. What have we got? Jack Mando is wounded. Okay, well you're just just my heavy. Let's see what sort of shots you've got. 17%. Oh, that's terrible. That really is terrible. Okay, that's my medics. Okay, Jack Mando, do a run and gun. Moving at the speed of death. To here. That way you'll draw any attack fire and you should be close enough that, that the medic can heal you. One percent chance to hit. 
one percent chance chance to hit. Hmm. Why is that so bad? Range because he's using a shotgun. Ah, oh, he's fighting in a forest. I should have given him. I should have given him a rifle. Okay. Overwatch. Okay. S sabotage. You need to. Well, you need to heal yourself, but you need to get out of there first. Actually, you've got full cover, so let's just do a heal wound on yourself. Callum. Thirty-five percent. Well, you're a sniper, it's your job. We might get lucky. Adjusting sights. Right, Hershey. Yeah, I did just realise that. I got my um, sniper confused with my medic. I told you that they needed um, better, better differentiation in the colours. Um, I really don't want to tuck you in next to Jack Mando because you'll just, you know, you'll just draw a grenade in. Move you to a flanking position. I risk, um, I risk alerting more enemy though. Let's move you to here and see what sort of shot you can get. Oh, you're my sniper. Oh, for, I'm confusing my guys completely. I do apologise, people. I am fluffing this up. You're Assault Jack Mando. You're also a sniper. Right, you're my support guy. You're in completely the wrong place. Okay. You do not have good shots. So I'm gonna I'm gonna smoke, I think. After the last guy's taken after these guys have taken their shots. See whether or not we can take this guy out. One damage, unfortunately, because it was only a pistol. Wilson, you're going to smoke, and the heavy. Go on Overwatch in case they move. All right, smoke grenade. Let's defend this cluster here. Actually, you're the guys with only half cover. And again, they've they've also only got got half cover. Okay, you can get those three there. And what are they gonna do? Oh, that's a bad hit. I don't believe two mutons are causing me this much trouble. No, no. Oh. Yeah. Right. You need to move. Where's a medic? Okay, you're a medic, so move into range and do a heal wound on her. Easy now, soldier. Sabotage. If you move there, will you get a flank on that guy? It's difficult to tell. I think you will if you go there. Yes. Right. Shoot him. Oh, that is such bad luck. That is such bad luck. 
Sniper rifle, thirty-five percent. Hmm. I really don't understand why these guys are causing such problems. All right, dash to this full cover there. my other sniper. He's got 35 and 35 on both of them. Let's just go for a headshot here. Missed again. Negative damage. The dice are just not with me. Right, so you've been healed, but you're still quite wounded. So let's move to this full cover here. don't understand why that is such a bad percentage chance. Aim. He just has cover, that's all. Well, let's just blast him. I might get very, very lucky. Or I might completely obliterate his cover. Okay, Jack Mando, you've got 32% against that guy when he's in that position. You're currently... Cur currently wounded. Wasn't I trying to get a medic to you? Oh well. Um, you can't run and gun yet. I'm tempted to dash you sort of round there to try and scare them out, but I'm just afraid that other people might just show up. Alright, you're the last guy who's not done anything. If you weren't wounded, I'd dash you to there, but you are wounded. So... Let's just go for this, the, the, the highest chance of a hit we've got. Negative damage. I'm running low on ammo. Alright, what are they going to do? Let's do the blood call. Which gives him a bit of a boost, I believe. Is that it? Or are they... Okay, they're shooting. Ugh. It's amazing how you can just walk, walk through a mission and just everyone gets taken out. And then the next time... Everything's just really bad. Hmm. If you had squad sight, sight, you could shoot. But you don't. Seventeen percent chance to hit. This is just two enemy. Trying to see whether or not anyone can get a flank on them. Sabotage. Dash to there. I'd really rather not open up more of the map, so... I've used both med kits already. <laughs> oh, this is not good. Okay, Sniper Hershey, what can you do? You've got a couple of 35% chance hits. So go f go for that one. Oh, Damn it. No one Sorry. is hitting. You can't stay there, can you? Okay, half cover. Sniper rifle, I mean laser pistol. Missed, of course. Everyone misses all the time. Let's 
move you to here. And shoot. Out of ammo here. Oh, damn it. Okay, well that at least reduced his cover. Sabotage has now got a 60% chance to hit this guy. That's pretty good. Oh, at last. We actually have a death. Okay, Wilson. Uh, support Wilson can see one enemy. Jack Mander can see one enemy. It's near 20% chance on him. Um, so let's go with the Overwatch. And then Jack Mando. You don't have enough ammo for a flush, unfortunately. Oh, not, not enough ammo at all, in fact. Okay. So let's move you and reload. Good to go. They're trying to pull back. Yep, and this is where my Overwatch. No, okay. Okay, by trying to pull back, you meant standing completely stationary. But at least he's scared enough that he's not actually fighting back anymore. Okay, who has eyes on target? Just these guys. Okay, Jack Mando. Let's move you up to here and see what sort of shot you get. Mm, not that good. So let's try one of these flush maneuvers. Overwatch, yes. And Overwatch. Right, now I'll activate Jack Mando's flush ability. Force the target to move to a new position. Flushing target. So he missed. Target still up. Okay, we got one shot in, that's good. Interesting. And he's moved closer to these guys. Where's my heavy? She keeps taking out cover on these guys, which is an interesting maneuver. Hmm. I'm going to risk going there. If other enemies show up, I can re reposition her. Good. She doesn't actually have... Oh, yes, she does. Out of ammo though, so reloading. Locked and loaded. Who have we got? Uh, sabotage, you're wounded, but Sniper Callum isn't. He, however, doesn't have a line of sight there. You do though, 20%. Let's just overwatch with your sniper rifle. Let's move you to this heavy cover there. 20% chance. Nope. Just overwatch it. So I'm hoping he might try and run, run for it. Or not move at all. Okay. So, Heavy, please blow up his cover. Nope, you just missed completely. Oh, damn it! Okay. Jack Mando. Run and gun. All ass. Nice bit of heavy flanking cover right here. This is what we like to see. That, those two, those two just caused so much problems. Okay, everyone, re um, everyone regroup. So reload. Back in. Yep. Ready to engage. Reloading. If you need to reload, Back take a line. reload. Oh, no warning about those guys. 
Okay, the fresh threat is coming in. See, enemy are activating now oh, without... Yeah. Okay, so you moved all the way to there. And... Where are the others? Okay, so there's a probe there. Where are the others? I definitely saw more of them moving than just him. Hmm. Kind of afraid to leave these guys out there on their own. Did anyone else need a reload? Just Jack Mando. So let's move him to here and hit reload. We're green to go. Alright, you don't like being exposed like that, do you? So move to this half cover here. Take that out. I'm about to start keeping score. Okay, Callum. You're a sniper. I don't really see any useful high ground for my snipers. Except for this terrain up here, perhaps. There. Wow, ah, the mouse is going weird. Okay. don't know where the aliens are. Is that a hint of that? Okay. Okay, the spaceship's that way. So we're definitely going to be heading in that direction. So I just need to regroup my guys, I think. Let's pull in close because there's a cyber disk out there somewhere. So I want plenty of people on Overwatch. Um, stay there, Overwatch, with your sniper rifle. Wilson, I want you to move. I don't want to cluster too tightly. Moving to Overwatch. Georgie. Let's just move you around the other side of... Okay, some half cover here. Got it covered. Okay, so where was that cyber disk? There it is. Okay. Taking reaction shots. Which of course miss. Shot failed to connect. Yeah, now that thing's about to shoot. Oh, I'm flanked. We got a KIA. Oh, sabotage, I'm sorry. Okay. Sabotage, I'm sorry. Um if you want to re-recruit, please, you know. Just add, um, add a comment saying if you want um, the same preferences or a different preference. Okay, we need to react to this as best we can. First of all, you're flanked and need to move. So there's a probe there and that's there. So there's some heavy cover there, but that sort of heavy cover gets blown up pretty damn easily. Okay. Let's move you to here. Um, huh, I've lost sight of the cyber disc from that position. See if someone else can give me eyes on so I can aim that grenade a bit better. Check Mando. Anyone else? Nope. Okay, Jack Mando. Move to this half cover. There we go. 48% chance. It's not bad. Go for it. And you missed. No, that is not good. Okay. Sorry. Let's try for this grenade now. Suck on this. 
Okay, that damaged them both a bit. Okay, here's my sniper. Um, let's move you to half cover. It's full cover here. Good. You've got a sight of both of them. 75, 75. Uh, pistols don't do that much damage, so I'm going to go for this smaller one because he has a chance of knocking it out of the sky. Nice. Okay, so at least I've only got one enemy to worry about now. Who's left? Sniper and a support. Um, right, move to here. Got eyes on. 60% chance to hit. That's a nice solid percentage chance. Nice. Why aren't you using a... By the way, why aren't you using a laser rifle? I think I messed up there, didn't I? Uh, dash to that heavy cover there. Okay, what are you going to do? They're backing up. Oh, good. Good, good. He's running away. Okay, let's see whether or not we can get eyes on again. Some heavy cover here. Overwatch. Check Mando. Well, that counts as heavy cover still. Sniper Callum. Here. You can always use your grapple hook to get up. Hershey. I don't like the fact that my guys are this scattered, that's why I'm dashing them in nice and close. Wilson. So the heavy's on Overwatch. Everyone else has moved. I don't think we're alone out here. Yep, I hear that. Okay. Jack Mando. There's no cover. Well, there's some half cover there, I think. But it counts as a dash, unfortunately. Look, squirrel. Hello, squirrel. Squirrels. Okay, run and gun. I don't want to pull you too far forwards. I just want you to be able to get to this cover here. And still be able to shoot. And that's why. Let's just overwatch. No, no, no. Overwatch, sorry. Okay, so now I know where he is. Let's move my sniper to here. Counts as heavy cover, although it might might be rather an easy flank. It's a shame I can't use the grapple hook to get my snipers up into the trees. <laughs> I'm going to see whether I can get my sniper up here. So I'm going to dash him to this heavy cover. Hershey. Let's go for the... Right. Is there anywhere you could go where you'd still get cover... ...against that thing <laughs> and be able to shoot? Not that I can see. Dash you to this half cover here. I'm just trying to take, take, take the high ground here. I think it's worth it. I don't want you to dash that way. And Overwatch. I feel, Commander. You keep an eye off in this direction, just in case. Overwatch. 
Aye, aye. Okay, what's the cyber disc going to do? Is it going to come back? Is it going to shoot? Okay, it's staying put. Out of range. Oh no. Um, there is like a chance of a rocket shot to there. But I don't think it's actually got got the cy the cyber disc inside the damage radius. Hmm. Okay, sniper dude. If you could grapple whoops to there. Up up and away. Okay, and you still get to move a bit, so take cover. Georgie. Move to this heavy cover. Was that a dash? Why can't you fire? Oh, because you can't actually see the enemy. So, Overwatch. If Jack Mando can make it move, then you can take a nice shot at it. So, Jack Mando can move to here. And Overwatch. Strange. Line of sight's a bit weird on this. Okay, so this is my sniper. Nowhere really to grapple. Just dash into there. And Wilson. You can come up there to support. Okay, you're the only one who can see the alien. There we go. Reaction shot. Hit, 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 hit. Okay, I think you missed, but Jack, but Jack Mando hit. We're just going to be hunting that, that thing all over the map, aren't we? Right, let's start with Jack Mando. Because he can still shoot. Okay, we're coming down from the high ground. So there might be more enemy about. Drop down there. Overwatch. Okay, sniper. This is... it's showing us cover. So I'm trying to move that uh, move that sniper so he can be in flanking positions on stuff. Um, this sniper can't see anyone or anything at the moment. So Overwatch you there, Wilson. If you can take up where Jack Mando was a moment ago. I feel, Commander. Georgie. That would be a dash move, unfortunately. Okay, that isn't. And you need to reload. Back online. So, this cyber disc is leading as a merry dance. I hear mutons. I definitely hear mutons. Overwatch. Jack Mando. Um, move to this cover here. Still nothing. Roger. I've got my eyes on. You. Get behind this tree. Oh, you can't actually Overwatch because you moved. So. Come get some. Laser pistol. 
Sniper Hershey. Just get down to here. Where are all the enemy? They must just be clustered around the uh, UFO. So I'm going to keep following that um, cyber disc for as long as I can. A <laughs> uh, bit of heavy cover down there for you. And everyone's on Overwatch, so if it shows its face, we should blow it off. There's something out there. Yep, that 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 would be the cyber disc. Oh, and also apparently a muton. Right. Jack Mando, heavy cover. Roger that. Scanning. Okay, you're at a risk of just getting left behind now. So let's move you to here. Roger that. Scanning. Okay, Georgie, our heavy. Our wounded heavy. I don't really want to move you forwards, but... Still nothing. Overwatch. Aye, aye. Sorry if this is um a little tedious for you guys to watch. I mean, for me, it's all like edge of the seat stuff because I don't know what's going to happen when. Let's move right you back to there, actually. Because I want to have eyes on a nice wide range of map. I don't want my guys guys to cluster. <laughs> to there. Okay. Come on. Oh, show yourself. Right. There might be enemy that way, but I know there are enemy that way. So, this is my rear sniper. Um, would, would that be in the fire? I don't want you to be standing in a fire. Oh, you can move to this one and overwatch. It's all gone quiet. Isn't it? I've got my eyes on. A little too quiet. Okay, there's some heavy cover there, and you get to shot, shoot, and pull back if necessary. Still nothing. Right. Jack Mando, where are you? Let's move you to this tree. So I'm trying to keep my guys together, but relatively well spread. Heavy cover. And in fact, this is sort of, you know, my my standard tactic of the assault and heavy at the front, the two support guys just, just behind them, and the snipers bringing up the rear. I'm on it. Ooh. What was that? There it is. Way high in the sky. Nice hit. No, missed. Damn it, missed the target. Maybe someone else hit it. Jack Mando's taking a reaction shot. I'll get him next time. That is flying high. Sniper missed. Shot failed to connect. Is it going to shoot back, or has it used its movement? Okay. Everyone, if you've got eyes on, shoot. Forty percent chance. Missed. Shot failed to connect. Jack Mando. 32% chance. Can you move in a bit? Because you've got a relatively short range weapon, so... 60% chance to hit. And you missed. Uh, adjusting Alright, Callum. 
unfortunately cannot see the target. Now you can, but just with a laser pistol. That was wide. Hershey can see the enemy. 55% chance headshot. Nope. Shot failed to connect. Wilson, how about you? Get more information on this thing. Ah, it's minus 20 because it's a flying target. Autopsy enemy unknown. Um, so moving isn't really going to help, is it? You've already got heavy cover. I could move you to this heavy cover here. Yep. 43%. Ah, range does have a slight effect. Not much, but slight. Nice hit. Right, who's left? Oh dear, it's it's go. Oh, but it didn't do anything. Anyone have eyes on? A sniper does. 75% chance to hit. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! Ooh! Remind me not to be close to one of those those things after I destroy it. Okay, we need to regroup a bit. Uh, you're actually in a pretty good place for a sniper, so just reload. Good to go. Reloading. Ready to engage. Reload. Back online. Definitely need to reload. I'm ready. <laughs> Okay, something's moving out there. Anyone else need a reload? Callum. Yes, so move to here. Reloaded. Uh, you stay on Overwatch. Because you're already in the right place for a sniper. Uh, support Wilson. dash you out to here. Heavy Georgie. Jack Mando. Got a bit of heavy cover for you there. I feel, Commander. Alright, so we're going to angle off this way now. Overwatch. Yep, because that's where the UFO is, and that seems to be where the last of the enemy are. So where is everyone? Uh, Jack Mando, Georgie. Oh yes, I'm down a man, aren't I? I forgot I lost someone. Right. Georgie, move to here. And Eyes on the prize. Overwatch. Jack Mando, advance a little bit. There it is. Let's re-angle the map. So we're actually looking the way we're heading. Roger. I've got my eyes on. Okay, Sniper Callum. Switch to the laser pistol because we're moving forwards. Run. I've got my eyes on. Hershey. Um. Let's move you forwards a little bit as well. There's a, some heavy cover there which might be good for snipers to take up. Scanning. And the support guys. Let's dash you to here. Or the support guy. Okay. I don't think we're alone out here. So in the UFO there. 
definitely a muton. Okay, Jack Mando. Advance. There it is. Well, there they are. What are they going to do? Scatter, scatter. Okay. I'm going to wait with Jack Mando. Oh, did not mean to do that. I'm going to wait with Jack Mando until the heavy's moved and fired. Because she sometimes takes out their cover. So, move to here. I don't think they're in... Are they in the same blast range for a rocket? Because that would definitely reduce their cover. Um, That's not bad, actually. I'm going to go with this, because I think it might damage them both and take out their cover. I always forget that you cannot move and shoot. So, let's just see what her chances are. 17, 37. 37 isn't bad. But I would rather... I might overwatch her and do a Jack, a Jack, a Jack Mando flush once everyone else is in position. Right, let's see what our snipers can do. 35% chance. Might get lucky with a headshot. Nope. Adjusting aim. Uh, where's the other sniper? Callum, you're too far back. Uh, you might get flanked if I move you there. Let's see if I can move Wilson first. Half cover to here. And Overwatch. I'm going to do the flush, uh, the, the the flush trick again. I think. Overwatch. Let's just move Callum. Thirty-five percent chance. So I will Overwatch him as well. All right, and Jack Mando is going to flush one of these. Thirty-two, forty, thirty-two. I'm gonna go with this this guy. Flush. Attacking that. Okay, Chuck Mando hit. Damn, adjusting sucks. Enemy is still alive. Yes, but only just. <laughs> He's stunnable. Obviously, I'm not going to risk it while there's loads of other people about. Oh, grenade. Ah, oh, nasty. Oh, no. I'm about to lose Wilson. Was this his first mission? Yeah, they're blood calling. And advancing still. Okay, I've lost... Okay, I've got two people critically wounded and no med kits. In three rounds, we're going to lose them. That's bad. I'm not sure there's much I can do. Okay, rocket. Fire rocket does six damage. Um, go with those two. Going for an intimidate. Evac! We need emergency evac! Now, damn it! Now! George is panicked, but she used the panic to shoot and kill one of them, so I'm relatively happy with that. Alright, who's left? Hershey. 35% chance against him. Hmm. I was actually going to stun him. So, if you go Overwatch... Okay, Jack Mando is going to move to here, which is heavy cover, and then stun that guy. 
90% chance. Subduing target. Good. Target incapacitated. Right, so there's just that guy. I doubt I, I doubt he's the last last guy on the map. Good. I got my snapshot sniper shot. And it's a miss. Damn it. Enemy is still alive. No! Hershey! Oh, this is bad. Oh, the things were going so well. Right, 100% chance to kill that guy, so let's go for it. I'm about to start keeping score. Gonna need to reload soon. But it's not the last guy on the map, so those guys are gonna bleed out. I don't think there's as much I can do. Back online. I mean, unless Jack, you know, Jack Mando takes out the last guy on the map in like one turn or something. How many chambers does this place have? Yeah, no. Okay. Do I pull out? If I pull out, then I don't get anything, and I'll have lost all those good people for nothing. It's killing time. I lost my help! 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 Someone help! Don't you shoot at him. Coming over here. I think I heard something. Oh my god, Jack Mando's... And that means he's gonna... Okay, he's hunkering down. Okay, when Jack Mando panics, you know you're in trouble. Okay, so this is my heavy. Move to there and reload. Oh yeah. And Jack Mando is no longer panicking. Um Let's just dash you to here. I, what was that? I just don't want to pull out because then everyone died for nothing. Also, I have supreme confidence in you know in Jack Mando. Overwatch. Aye aye. Right, so I just want to get these guys into position. Well, Jack, Jack, Mando, and Georgie. Roger, I've got my eyes on. Roger that. Scanning. Right, so now they're both as close as they can be, and we can hear. hear yep, yeah, I hear that. So, you move to here. I mean, Jack Mando in close with a scatter laser gun. Hopefully we will do okay. Let's move you to here. Overwatch. Aye, aye. I don't believe I went in with a squad of six and lost four of them. It was those first two mutons. They just would not die. On Overwatch. Yep, because I don't actually want to open that door until Jack Mando is in position. Quiet. 
Do you hear something? Because we do still need to capture, if we can, an outsider. Again, I'm not going to risk these guys. Okay. He's probably in there, which is the main control room. On Overwatch. Jack Mando dashes to there. Right, so let's see what we've got. ET in sight. There it is. One outsider. Moving for a flank on her. Yep, so pull back to here. And shoot. Please don't miss. You missed. Target still up. Right, Jack Mando. Half cover. Half cover with a flank. You're likely to kill him, but it's better than him killing us. to squander these opportunities, Commander. Yes. Please make every effort to stun this particular species of alien using the arc thrower. I just lost four men. Another successful operation. Successful? I lost four people. <sighs> Continue. Okay. Let's just take, take stock of things. So, if your name is on the casualty list, Tell me whether or not you want to be re-recruited. Terrible loss of life. If only there was some way we could have helped them. Support Wilson. Sniper Hershey. Sniper Callum. And support Sabotage. You will be missed. If you want to come back, tell me. And both the Heavy and Jack Mando are wounded. Another live capture? Please give my thanks to the men. Ooh, I've got a plasma rifle. I know it can't be an easy task trying to bring them in alive. And I can... You can trust that the research team will make it worth the trouble. I can interrogate a muton, do an autopsy on a cyber disk and a drone. So I've got a plasma rifle. I've captured an alien grenade, four muton corpses. So if I had the money, I could do that ammunition research. Cyber disk wreck. Okay, 44 Illyrium, 97 alien alloys, 25 weapon fragments, UFO flight computer. Now these are good, because those I can just sell for money. So let's do that quickly. Grey market, those damaged things can be sold freely. So that's 90, which is nice. So, just to finish up. <sighs> Barracks, view soldiers. Um, I think I need to use that money to hire some fresh troops. I lost four, so I'll hire four. So I've still got 90 credits. So let's have a look at the foundry. Ah, this was 150, unfortunately, so I'm not going to save up to do that. I might... I wanted another satellite, didn't I? Which costs 60. I'm going to do that and get another satellite. because they take 20 days to build. So that way, in 20 days time, I'll start getting, you know, I'll have two other satellites that I can lob out there. Okay, well that's it. Um, sorry this one was a bit long and slow, tedious and, well, not that, not that successful. 
hopefully things will improve. So, <laughs> um, we're hanging on. You know, I mean, we're losing a lot of troops. Sometimes we get wonderfully successful missions, and sometimes it just goes really badly. Um, and I think it's just bad luck most of the time. I don't think I made any huge tactical errors against those first two mutons. I mean, I had everyone spread out. They had plenty of cover. It was just they weren't able to get the shots in. But, um, yes, we're flogging lots of stuff, but our monthly has gone up hugely because of the satellite in America, and we've got two other satellites on the way. That's all going to help. So I'll see you next time, and we'll continue trying to save the world. Bye-bye.